Welcome to Channel Game IQ. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Outriders, a new co op third person RPG shooter. To start off, we're going to take a look at the amazing trailer and then have a chat about the game and take a look at the gameplay. As the last remnants of humanity destroy themselves, the signal is still out there. And with it lies the key to our salvation. We journey from the ruins of our old world and into what lies beyond. The things I've seen, even I do not believe them. Where I am taking these two, there's no coming back. You think you're dreaming? What the... This is real. It's the end of the goddamn world out there. All this persistence, this world is crashing down. And what will be left? Beyond here, there's only death. I'm finding that signal. Outriders is an up-and-coming cooperative role-playing third-person video game developed by People Can Fly and published by Square Enix European subsidiary. It is set to be released on the 1st of April 2021 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S and Stadia. Now give that sidearm a try, eh? In the beginning of the game, players create their custom characters and choose from four classes. Each of them has unique abilities that the players can utilise. The four classes include the Trickster, which has the ability to manipulate time, the Pyromancer, which can manipulate fire, the Devastator, which can unleash seismic attacks, and the Tectomancer, that uses turrets and other devices. These special skills have a short cooldown time and can be combined with other skills for maximum effects. The game features a skill tree that allows players to unlock and upgrade their skills. Players can use different weapons such as shotguns and assault rifles to defeat enemies and firearms can be customised with weapon mods. Players can hide behind cover to shield themselves from enemy attacks, though health will only regenerate if the player manages to hurt or kill enemies. Players combat both monsters and human enemies. As the player progresses, the world level of the gameplay difficulty will increase. If the world level is high, it's more likely for the player to get high-end loot from defeated enemies.
The game incorporates various role-playing elements. As the players explore, they can explore different hub areas, talk to non-playable characters and complete side missions. In cutscenes, a dialogue tree allows to decide the outcome of some conversations, though it does not affect the story's progression. The game can be played solo, but players can also complete the game together with two other players. So that brings us to the end of the video, leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this game, whether you like it or not, please leave me a comment. Until the next time, thanks for watching, Channel Game IQ.